everyone welcome back to my channel girl my bra strap falls out oh, I'm so sorry I try to keep it as classy as possible but it just wants to fall out and by the way this hair girl it has been so hot and humid outside and rainy there's literally no point of me straightening my hair and leaving it down so I've been rocking a bun it's large and in charge and it doesn't even fit in the camera at least in my viewfinder it doesn't but welcome to today's video you guys i'm going to be doing a first impression and wear test on the revlon candid or it's the revlon photo ready candid natural finish anti-pollution foundation i am so excited to try this this from me reading it on Ulta, it's definitely reminding me a lot of the last first impression I did, which was the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup Sunscreen. I believe this one has sunscreen and this one doesn't, but if you guys didn't watch my first impression and wear test on this foundation, I'll leave that linked down below, but they are very similar in packaging as well. Um, I know the Revlon one came out before this one. This one is actually fairly new. I don't know when I'm uploading this video, but I wanted to go ahead and give this baby a try already. And what better than to do it when it's freaking hot and humid outside. And yeah, so I actually haven't tried a Revlon foundation in a hot, hot minute. I can't remember the last time I tried one. I remember being obsessed with the Revlon color stay. You guys remember back in the day when the Revlon color, color stay was like the thing? And then the photo ready line came out. This is actually part of the photo ready. So let's just go ahead, jump right into the claims because I feel like I've just been a chatterbox. Let me go ahead and pop these glasses on. Oh girl, my little... I'm blind. I have my phone charging right now, so I'm actually reading this off of my laptop. So I'm on the Ulta website. I personally like getting my information from the Ulta website just because it's just it's more informative in my opinion. So this is the Revlon um, Photo Ready Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation. I got the shade 430 Honey Beige. I'm really hoping this is my shade. Just these little squeezy tubes are so hard to figure out your actual color match just because you really can't see the color but so it does retail for $10.99 on the Ulta website honestly just depending where you get it Ulta is usually going to be your more pricey um, place to get it Walmart and Target is probably your best bet to get a better deal it just really depends it does come with 31 shades and then it says find your perfect Revlon photo ready candid natural finish anti-pollution foundation shade Revlon Photo Ready Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation is a skin care inspired foundation that is ultra blendable, ultra buildable, and infused with antioxidants, anti-pollution, and anti-blue light ingredients. So it says what's in it. It's anti-pollution, anti antioxidant, anti-blue light, which I'm not really sure what anti-blue light ingredients mean. And then it says what is out, meaning what this doesn't have, oils, parabens, that freaking word I can't say. Synthetic dyes and fragrances. It says it's a creamy texture that goes on like a moisturizer, then blends invisibly to even out skin tone weightlessly. 31 skin tone matching shades, premium pump packaging, medium to buildable coverage, natural finish, keeps the skin feeling moisturized all day. So this kind of reminds me of like a tinted moisturizer in a way but more of a full coverage that's totally what this one was what this one was and I am going to go ahead and kind of refer it to this one if you guys are curious because they kind of are the same thing so it is a medium to buildable coverage so I'm hoping I can get full coverage obviously you guys can see I have problematic skin it is what it is I got it um so we're going to go ahead and see how this baby wears. So this doesn't really say if it is for a specific skin type. Um, my guess it's more so geared towards someone with dry skin because it does say it keeps the skin feeling moisturized all day. I do have... It's like a combination of oily, dry, and normal girl. I am everything all of the above 
above. I'm more so oily, but I do tend to get dry. So we're going to go ahead and test this baby out. Again, I did get the shade Honey Beige. And let's go ahead and get a close-up of the packaging. Obviously, you guys can tell it's a squeezy bottle, but it does have a pump on it. This one didn't have a pump on it. This was just a straight-up squeezy. So I kind of do appreciate not only the packaging, but I like that it actually has a pump and how small it is and convenient. It comes with your 0.75 fluid ounces. This one is one fluid ounces, so this one has more um, than the Kendit one. And I know I'm referring back to this one. As I said, I just kind of want to go ahead and kind of compare them in this video while we're at it, um, if you guys are curious. And so it does have a little bit less than a fluid ounce, which is totally okay. I know this has been out on the market for a hot minute, so I'm just not trying it because, girl, this one, there's an update coming on this one. There's an update coming. But let's just go ahead and get on with the video because we've been talking for seven minutes. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pump it on the tray. Let's go ahead and shake it up a little bit. That was my concealer to clean up my brows, which, by the way, face is primed. Eyebrows are on. Let me take my glasses off now. I don't need them anymore. But I'm going to go ahead and pump it on here. I don't think I need to shake it up or anything. Let's see. Oh, girl, that's actually a pretty thick... I mean, it is running a little bit, but this one isn't as runny as this one. This one is definitely thicker. So per usual, I'm going to go ahead and apply one side with a brush and one side with a um, sponge. So we're going to go ahead and work this side with the um, Morphe JH03 brush. I just went ahead and squirted one pump. I think this is going to be my shade. If it's going to be, it might be a little light, but girl, you know, we can fix it. So let's go ahead. And apply it. Let me go ahead and move my little antenna. Ooh. Okay, the shade is a little bit too light, but it's nothing too crazy that I can't fix. I don't think it has a scent to it, like, at all. I think that's just my brush cleaner. The only thing, quickly wanted to mention, this doesn't say it has any kind of SPF in it. So I do recommend you uh, incorporate some kind of SPF up under it. We want to protect our skin. Make sure you are using sunscreen. This one does come with an SPF of 50, so keep that in mind as well. But girl, that first coverage is definitely a medium coverage, no doubt about it. Obviously, I do have um, dark pigmentation as far as like acne scars, so it's going to, I'm definitely going to have to go ahead and blend it out. But if you have good skin, girl, and you don't suffer from any kind of dark pigmentation like me, even if you have a little redness, I do believe this can, co this can cover it because as you guys saw, I did have redness in the beginning. It's just more so my acne scars that are always hard to go ahead and cover up. So keep that in mind. Okay, so that is the first initial layer with a brush. Yes, it does look a little bit too light, but it's nothing too crazy. So thank goodness, girl. Thank goodness. So, first initial thought is it definitely feels lightweight. There's no scent to it. Um, definitely applied medium coverage with a brush right off the bat. Per usual, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can build it up. I do see that this one does have a little bit of a pink undertone to it, but again, nothing we can't fix. So, let's go ahead, go in with another pump and see if we can build it up and see how many actual initial layers I need to do so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to where I need more coverage which is just my cheek area and I'm just gonna go ahead and press it instead of swiping so I can maximize my coverage okay so yeah I was definitely able to build it up no problem this right now is I'm comfortable with it. You still see just the slightest amount of acne scars peeking through. I do believe if I go ahead and go in with a little bit more, I can go ahead and achieve the full coverage that I usually go for, which I feel comfortable going in with medium coverage. If a little bit peeks through, honestly, it, it don't bother me. But for the purpose of the video, we're going to go ahead 
and see if we can go ahead and build it up to like 100% full coverage on my skin. Right off the bat, this is a medium to buildable full coverage. Yes, I do agree with that claim. It actually doesn't seem to feel drying, but I don't know if you guys can see, there's literally no trace of sheen on my face at all. This one did have a little bit of sheen, um, but this one is definitely more so on the matte side. It still feels moisturizing. It doesn't feel over drying or anything, at least with a brush. Um, again, medium to full coverage. It feels a little sticky, but I don't know if I just need to give it time to dry. So let's go ahead, move on to the sponge side, girl. I'm busting out a brand new Wet n Wild sponge, so I'm so excited for that. Let's go ahead and do this side with the sponge. My thoughts is I'm definitely going to go ahead and get more of a full coverage with a brush. That is just what I kind of found working with this one. And I know it's probably annoying that I keep referring to this one. But if you guys caught that video and you're curious, that's just kind of what I'm going off of. So I guess this is a first impression slash wear test slash comparison to this one. So, yeah. Okay, so I actually got a little bit more coverage than I expected. This is still definitely more so a medium um, coverage right off the bat. It did a really, really good job with a sponge as well. But I think personally, me, I'm gonna, I'm just from experience again from this foundation. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and prefer it with a brush. But we're gonna go ahead and see if we can build it up to full coverage with a beauty blender or. A makeup sponge if that's just more so what you like to use so this is what the foundation looks like um, with the beauty blender again I was able to go ahead and get a full coverage I know in the camera I'm looking a little bit ghostly but again I'm gonna go ahead and fix it don't you worry it's actually not looking too bad compared to my neck but I do I am gonna go ahead and warm it up so so far again first impressions it definitely is more so of a mattifying um, foundation or is it even a foundation or a tinted moisturizer I think it's a foundation but I'm still feeling lightweight it doesn't feel heavy at all it doesn't look cakey it looks really 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 good um, again I don't see any trace of sheen since it does consider to be more so a hydrating um, foundation so that's kind of kind of throwing me off a little bit because this one it did have a little bit of luminosity this one is definitely more so of a matte one so I'm kind of excited to see how well this one is gonna work for like this heat weather and like if I get oily and stuff just because it is becoming and drying down more so of a matte again super super comfortable on the face I feel like I don't have anything on literally it feels like I just applied a very like heavy moisturizer it doesn't feel greasy though it just feels really really moisturizing really comfortable so I am so far I am very very impressed with this foundation I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my makeup see how everything applies and blends if I get any kind of like rub off coverage and stuff like that so I am gonna go ahead and finish my makeup and I'll be right back for my first final thoughts initial my first impression when all the makeup is on. You guys get what I'm saying. I'll be right back. I've been talking too much, so. So it is currently 10.52, so pretty much it's 11 o'clock. I've been wearing this foundation for quite some time. Obviously, from when I applied it, did my makeup, it's probably maybe 30 to 40 minutes. I, I, I can't remember exactly when I started, but I really, 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 really like how this foundation is looking it definitely still feels lightweight it's comfortable it looks good my pores aren't emphasized the lighting's probably gonna change but it just looks overall good I am really 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 impressed impressed I'm really really impressed I like the coverage I like the feel I like how it looks and I don't know it's just it's just really 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 nice I'm super super impressed girl where is it here it is so so far like the first impression portion now that everything is on my face it looks good it feels good and I am very impressed I'm so excited to see how this wears throughout the day again it is almost 11 let's see what the temperature is outside it is currently 84 degrees outside so we are gonna go ahead and put this baby to the test and yeah so I will be back later on today so it is now 4 35 
p.m. I've been wearing this foundation for some time now and girl it is looking so good there is like slight traces of oil but nothing like too crazy I feel like it's just that natural girl that natural glow that's just gonna happen I am so impressed with this foundation you guys I really 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 do like it I feel like this one, in my opinion, is more so for people who have um, oily skin. If you're looking for something lightweight, full coverage with more so, um, like, skincare in it. If you are looking for that skincare property that this one and the Maybelline one that I showed you guys earlier do claim to do, I feel like the Maybelline one is more so for people with... Um, dry slash combination skin but this one is definitely I feel works better for people with oily skin I really 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 do enjoy it I love the coverage it looks so flawless the blush is on the highlighters on everything is on it looks good so um, from a 1 to a 10 I really want to say this is more so a 9. Um, I'm not giving it a full on 10 only because I still had to go ahead and build it up. And girl, for me, in my opinion, in my preference, and a foundation, if you're going to get a 10, you need to hit all the markers, including full coverage, which this is buildable to uh, medium to buildable. It's definitely a medium one um, to buildable full coverage, as you guys can see. And I don't know, it's just really... It's just, it's just really good. I really, really did enjoy it. And girl, it was hot outside today. Let me tell you, I did put this baby through the test. It put up really good. The only thing um, that I do wish this one had was an SPF as well. It's good. It's a good little foundation packaging wise. Everything price point. Pretty much what it claims to do. It's doing girl. I like it. I recommend it to you guys. So, with that being said, I know I probably repeated myself a million times, but with favorites videos or first impressions, there's only so many words you can use. But, regardless, I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, don't forget to go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. And also, don't forget to hit the bell so you guys are notified every time I do upload. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will go ahead and see you guys in my next one. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.